Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, made the announcement about the Giga Berlin in its Brandenburg site in November 2019 at the Das Goldin Lankrad award ceremony. With a predicted start of production in 2021, the facility is planned to manufacture batteries, battery packs, and powertrains for use in Tesla automobiles as well as construct the Tesla Model Y. By the beginning of 2020, site preparation and foundation work had already started. The local environmental office stated in a January 2020 newspaper that the factory was scheduled to open in July 2021. Due to administrative issues, it was postponed. The Giga Fest completion ceremony however, took place in October 2021. The factory was formally launched on March 22, 2022. And now it's reported that in August, Tesla Giga Berlin will transition to a two-shift schedule. Tesla's Berlin Gigafactory has reportedly employed at least 5,000 people in Grunheide, according to RBB. In order to fill a second shift completely, it intends to hire more people in August. Tesla Giga Berlin will eventually add a third shift and run continuously. Tesla aims to reach an output of 3,000 units per week by October 2022. Tesla SVP of Powertrain and Energy Engineering Drew Baglin shared at the last earnings call that Tesla's target is to hit 5,000 vehicles per week at Giga Berlin by the end of the year. Tesla believes it can still achieve 50% plus growth by the end of the year. And finally, even though we lost more builds in Q3 than we had anticipated, we're still working to achieve 50% growth this year. With great execution, this aim is still achievable, according to Tesla's chief financial officer Zachary Kirkhorn, who made the statement during the company's Q2 2022 earnings call. Inefficiencies in Austin and Berlin were also noted by the Tesla CFO as factors that will continue to hurt the company's profits throughout the rest of this year. Kirkhorn asserts that when Tesla increases production, the effect of these inefficiencies will lessen. To repair their individual assembly lines, Giga Berlin and Giga Shanghai temporarily stopped manufacturing in July. For two weeks, Tesla stopped producing in Germany so that some of the casting equipment that make the rear underbody sections could be readjusted. During the brief interruption, Tesla added additional equipment at Giga Berlin to boost production. In the meantime, Tesla improved the production lines in Giga Shanghai for the Model 3 and Model Y. Tesla China delivered only 28,217 vehicles in July as a result of the improvements, down from a record-breaking 78,000 units in June. However, Giga Shanghai's output should rise as a result of the enhanced Model Y and Model 3 assembly lines. The weekly output of 1,000 vehicles is already being met by Giga Berlin, and it appears that Tesla's new headquarters in Austin will soon achieve the same level. Midway through July, Giga Shanghai completed upgrading its Model Y assembly, and this week, changes to the Model 3 line are anticipated to be completed. It looks that the Fremont factory is also testing its limits. A Canaccord analyst recently visited the Fremont factory, which confirmed that it continues to make a sizable contribution to Tesla's manufacturing figures. So far, it appears that Tesla will have no problems in Q3 2022, barring any unforeseen difficulties. Thank you for watching this video. Please like the video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and other videos about Tesla and electric cars.